Okay, we create a kind of map and we can play around more to add elements. But I think for the next step, this is more than enough what we need. And as an output, we actually want to create a different coloring. So in our system can look on RGB maps and depend how you build your game or your maps, but we need to uh, separate them. And it's what we're going to do in the next tutorials. It is retrieving different information, create different information so you can combine after all. And you'll notice that inside, uh, of course, the world machine, we have it all additional options. We have it uh, converters if you need to do any channel splitting or if you need even a splot converter or any other ones. It's already pre-built in. You can use that one. However, we're going to use just the basic elements so we can see how this work. <clears throat> and we're going to begin by creating first color generator. And you know what? Let's switch this color to red okay we'll just go select red color okay and as example right here we have it if we connect high field to the mask input you can preview there we have it our high field output uh, for me example i want to create element uh, wetness or a plant distribution whatever you can call to this but somewhere there's naturally plant can going and usually if we're going, it is will be on a floor map. If you look how the plant is going, usually they will be going where the water going down the stream. And this is our flow from elements. So this is will be our basic. However, water does um, kind of accumulating at the bottom mostly. So if we're going down to this, we will have it some more wetness elements or the plant distribution on the bottom. So in this case, we need to find and creating our bottom. And this one we're using from high field. So again, we'll go to our filters. And in our filters, we have it same, we have a clam element, we have it expand, we have it flipper, we have all this additional properties that we can go use it. Uh, one of them actually is a chooser. So we can go with a different uh, side if we needed height and other elements and for this we actually need to go inside the selector which provides for us a little bit better element that we can select inside and we're going to use with the select height and this element right here we'll go to connect to primary input and in select height we can actually see which element do we want to select so if we're going lower yeah, let go exponentially a bit down. You know, maybe invert. We'll see if we can select a little bit better. Be around this area. Okay. So now, if we select connect to our colorizer, we have it elements where is a um, little bit more showing us lower altitude. So let's go ahead and lock this preview because I want to modify. And again, we can adjust. Notice sometimes if we're going down, we don't have it enough um, contrast or we don't have it this kind of area where we can select. It's already very, very quiet, a bit low in this case. So in this case, we need it used or equalizer or we need to use it some other elements. And let's go back to our filters and remember how we have it equalizer before put equalizer at this moment here and notice we already have quite a bit element so we remove it a bit more darker area it's what we wanted and we actually can select even more there you go so now we select a little bit better on those areas and this is one input on the color. But again, we want to mix them together. For this one, we'll need to go inside the combiners. So where we are, our combiners is right here. We'll select our combiner. And we'll select bottom and floor map. I'll go connect 
this element to our preview node. Okay, now with, uh, if we need, we can add or average. I think the average will work a little bit better in this case. But you can see already we can modify, you know, maybe let's go with a maximum. Here, so this is all wetness or element of distribution for plants. So we have it a lower altitude where it's collected as well. We have this nice flow added. Okay, and let's go with a screen. Yeah, screen should add a little bit better. And you know, actually I prefer, so we'll go, this one will go first and let's go second combiner. So in that case, we control more overload effect with it. Because I like the when a flow a little bit more stronger in this case. Okay, I think right there will be about right, and this is will be our okay, let's put it combiner right here. Combiner, and this is about our coloring where I want distribution for uh, plants, wetness, or any other one. So this is my distribution map. Um, let's also look a little bit on a height map. And a high map is kind of actually a little bit easier that way. So we'll go just select maybe um, blue color. Okay. Yeah, the height one is much easier because we just select one element and there you go we have it, our height map created for us okay so we created elements there are also other things we have it right here which is nice we have it our deposition maps and we have it our wear maps so we can use it those ones as well uh, for different elements. So you can add them to your distribution or any other ones for now. Uh, next, I want to create maybe a temperature map. And a temperature is usually higher, altitude is lower than, um, a low, a high, high altitude is a lower temperature than lower. Uh, but the one thing, it will affect maybe on different type of the plants we have it or coloring out of the plant so it's additional map uh, to do this we want to combine with our high field but we want to apply additional um, parameters that we can convert so in this case we can go with our selection for example selector we can go to our height selector okay we can connect from height to our elements let's go to create another um, generator just so we can see different color and I'll just go select maybe green color okay it's not pure green but it should work for now lock preview and right here you can see that we can select of course in this case we want to invert and we don't need it temperature on the bottom just only top but again we can create our colder and a colder temperature will be on the top we can place it snow or any other element at this time okay so we have it our temperature we have this um if you're interested to place it snow or any specific they have it very nice natural filter that is already a snow position so we can apply this to a specific element and in some cases maybe when we're going to more advanced one when we start creating switches between weather summer fall spring and based on this we can redirect our path how it's creating from here and we'll go based on the same map we can redirect this to um 
add a specific coloring with the snow just like it or other elements but overall right here what we created it is um we generated with the wetness or wet position of plan normal high field and you know i don't like this green color so we'll just go to the basic green okay and you know what for this one let me just change so we can i know it's not necessarily the right one but so we can preview a little bit better in this case okay so we have our height map we have our wetness and we have our temperature distribution which is again similar to the height map the only different is where we can control on the temperature so this is primary three maps again you can use it as plot map you can use it combiner color combiner to create all those three colors and output as one map uh, but let's go ahead and uh, we'll continue exploring continue creating based on this map what we created this workflow that we created let's say what's happening if we want to add a season and we'll start adding switches and additional parameters so we have it a little bit easy to control this